Search engines are complex computer programs. Their job is to provide users with the best results in the fastest possible way. How do they do it? They do a lot of preparation work in advance, so that when you click Search, you are presented with a set of precise and quality results that answer your question or query. Preparation work involves three main stages, crawling, indexing, and ranking. The first stage is crawling. Search engines have a number of computer programs called web crawlers, responsible for finding information that is publicly available on the Internet. Crawlers live on the web, and their job is to scan the Internet and all public web servers, create a list of available websites, and save this information in their index. Remember, crawlers are not humans, so they cannot read a page like a human. Instead, they are looking for signals to help them figure out as much as they can about a page. Once they are done processing a page, they follow any internal or external links to discover more pages to add to their index. They do this continually, and they also keep track of changes made to a website so that they know when new pages are added or deleted and when content or links are updated. Why care about the crawling process? Your first concern when optimizing your website for search engines is to make sure that they can access it correctly. If they cannot read your website properly, you shouldn't expect much in terms of rankings or search engine traffic. The second stage is indexing. Crawling alone is not enough to build a search engine. Information identified by the crawlers needs to be organized, sorted, and stored, so that it can be processed later by the ranking algorithms. When crawlers find a web page, they render the content of the page just as a browser does. Then they take note of key signals and add this information to the search index. They keep things like when a page was created or updated, the title and description of a page, type of content, associated keywords, incoming and outgoing links, and a lot of other parameters needed by the ranking algorithms. Why care about the indexing process? It's very simple. If your website is not in their index, it will not appear for any searches. This also means that if you have a lot of pages in their index, you have more chances of appearing in the search results for specific search terms. Notice that I mentioned the phrase, appear in the search results, which means in any position, and not necessarily in the top positions or pages. This is to be decided by the search engine ranking algorithms. The third and final step in the process is ranking. During the ranking process, search engines use complicated algorithms to decide which pages to show in the results for a given search query and in what order. How do ranking algorithms work? If we go back to 2001, it was as simple as matching the user's query with the title of the page, but this is no longer the case. Google's ranking algorithms use more than 255 rules before making a decision, and nobody knows for sure what these rules are. They combine human rules with machine learning to determine the most relevant results to user queries. To make it easier to understand, here is a simplified process of how search engine ranking algorithms work. The first step is for search engines to understand what kind of information the user is looking for. To do that, they analyze the user's query by breaking it down into a number of meaningful keywords. A keyword is a word that has a specific meaning and purpose. For example, when you search for how to make a chocolate cake, search engines know from the words how to that you are looking for instructions on baking a chocolate cake, and thus the returned results include recipes with step-by-step -step instructions. With the help of machine learning, they can also associate related keywords together. For example, they know that the intent of the user when searching for how to change a light bulb is the same as how to replace a light bulb. Search engines are clever enough to interpret spelling mistakes, understand plurals, and in general, extract meaning of a query from natural language, either written or verbal in case of voice search. The second step is to look into their index and decide which pages can provide the best answer for a given query. To give you an idea of how matching works, these are some of the most important factors. Title and content relevancy. How relevant is the title and content of the page with the user query? 
type of content. If the user is asking for images, the returned results will contain images and not text. Quality of the website Google only shows websites that meet their quality standards in its search results. Publication date For news-related queries, the date a page was published is also taken into account. Page popularity This doesn't have to do with how much traffic a website gets, but how other websites perceive the particular page. A page that has a lot of references from other websites is considered to be more important than pages with no links and has more chances of getting picked up by the algorithms. Other factors include the device used to make a search, the language, and location of the user. The third and final step is to show the results to the user. A typical search results page includes 10 organic results, but in most cases, it is enriched with other elements to help users find what they are looking for in the fastest possible way. That's how search engines work. Your job as an SEO is to optimize your website for all three stages, crawling, indexing, and ranking, so that it has more chances of appearing on the top positions of the search results for related queries.